Hi guys. I went to the market today. Yes, I love going to Marikiti market where everything is a lot cheaper and I bought everything that we are going to need to cook enough food to last us a whole month. We are a family of seven because we have four kids, the eldest is six, and my husband and I end our help. So we, what we normally do is we cook once for the whole month and I want to show you the groceries that we used and what we bought today to last us a whole month. And if I can, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how much I spent at Marikiti Market because food is so cheap there. So let me show you exactly what I got. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and now come and see the food. Before I went to the market, I made my shopping list using this master grocery list. I made a video of why it is very important to have a master grocery list because it helps me not to forget anything. This is just basically everything that we use in this house and that we buy. So all I do is I refer to this as I'm making my shopping list and then I know exactly what we need. So I don't skip anything. It really, really helps. And if you watch that video, I have a free downloadable print of a master grocery list that you can just fill in what you buy in your family. It really helps. It has been really helpful. So the first thing I did was, of course, to make my shopping list based off on this. And now let me show you exactly what all this is and how much we bought it for, if I can remember everything. And also it's raining. I really hope you can hear me. I'm trying to talk as loud as I can because there's a storm outside. But this is the day. This could not be postponed because tomorrow I start my batch cooking. So I had to show you guys today before I start cooking everything. So this is basically everything that I bought, although I have a few that I had bought earlier and I will explain why. Um, I was running a bit late to go to the market today because I had such a late night yesterday, but I had to because we were running out of food. So yeah, some stuff I didn't get and prices were not so good today. So let me show you exactly what I got. All right. As you can see, all these are the vegetables that I got from my Ikiti market. Vegetables and fruits we love together. We do it once a month. And then in the middle of the month, I just go back for fruits because I love cooked enough to last us a whole month. And let me start here. Let me start with these carrots. All right. Now, these carrots, as you can see, it's quite a large pot of carrots. I bought them for 300 shillings. It's a lot. That's like three dollars for people who don't live in Kenya. So I bought all these for 300 shillings and these are going to be enough to make all the food that we'll need for the month and, and so on and so forth. I also got this very, very large melon for today. It was the price was good because it was 33 shillings per kilo and this is eight kilos. So it was about huh, my math, about 200 and and less than 250 let me see that that's 2.5 dollars for y'all who are not in kenya really really good price for man then i got these um these butternut butternut squashes they were selling for 50 shillings per kilo i bought about five kilos because it was 250 shillings so that was good these ones are going to be great for our pumpkin soup i've made a video of that and we love that around here it's one of our most favorite soups then i also bought this eggplant uh quite a good amount a kilo was going for 50 shillings so i think i bought four kilos so all this is like for 200 shillings yeah 200 shillings and this would be just enough for us so that's two dollars for those guys who are interested in that and i bought these this is half a kilo of of ginger really nice we have washed it it doesn't come this clean from marikiti market i wish it did but we've already washed all these vegetables and fruits anyway so this was going for um 135 shillings per kilo and this is half a kilo so let's say i paid 70 bob for this yeah then i bought two kilos of onions which apparently i shouldn't have bought because we still have some left over from last time there's a time my mom brought us like a lot of onions 
uh, back when I was sick, uh, but when we, were, when we all had COVID, please watch that video of that story. So we couldn't go to the market. So my mom bought for us a lot of onions and a lot of stuff. She's amazing. So apparently most of those onions are not over yet. But I still bought these two kilos. A kilo is going for 100 shillings. So these are for 200 shillings. And obviously now we probably won't finish this this month. Then let's come to the tangerines. I bought these ones. I didn't want to buy oranges because the oranges there... I don't know, unless you buy the imported ones, the normal ones, I normally find them a bit bitter. I don't know. So I, pref I decided to try tangerines. A kilo was a bit expensive because it was going for 175 shillings. So I bought two kilos of these. And then, <laughs> one of mine, one of my people's, this is our last born out even. Like, he loves raw things, he really does. But I don't know what the plan was here. So he took a bite. Then realized it doesn't taste so good with the with the cover and he left it. I just realized that I was getting ready to make the video. So anyway, yeah, they'll have that tomorrow. And then I bought these lovely lemons for a kilo was going for 70 shillings. And this is half a kilo. So this was 35 shillings for all this. And then where are we? I don't know if I mentioned this courgettes. I bought them for hmm let me see i bought them for 70 shillings they were a bit expensive normally they go for 60 shillings i bought them for 70 shillings a kilo and i bought five kilos so this was 350 but as you can see it's still not not a bad amount of zucchinis for my stews Oh, and then here we have oh, these mangoes. Okay, I have not been able to go to the market for a while, as I said. So at some point, we had to buy mangoes from the estate. You guys, they were selling me one of these mangoes for 30 bob. I was feeling so conned. 30 whole shillings for this mango. I mean, seriously. So, of course, I went to my kitty and they were like half price. I bought these ones for 15 bob. And you can see it's a good size mango for 15 shillings so yeah these were these were like 150 or something shillings like that then where are we where are we oh there's this cabbage lovely cabbage i bought three of them but we already had one this was going for 60 shillings so i bought three 180 and then i bought pineapples again you guys i think because of the change in the price of fuel and all that prices are not as friendly as in i normally find them because i bought this one for 60 shillings and you might think that's a good price if you haven't <laughs> if you've never gone to my kitty but for 60 shillings i normally get one that's much bigger than this so i was oh man today it was painful i really i felt the pain so i bought it for 60 shillings and i bought four so the size that they normally sell to me for 60 shillings today, they were selling for 90 bob. And yeah, I wasn't so keen on that. So I bought four pineapples. Then I bought just two, two coconuts because we love coconuts as snacks. And also when I'm making coconut rice there, and coconut anything, these are really good. One was going for 40 shillings. A good size. I love them. So yeah, I'm excited. My kids will really love this for a snack. And I bought half a kilo of garlic, which is, seems to have a hole. Oh my gosh, how much did I buy this for? I bought this half a kilo at 130 shillings for this. 1.3 dollars, you guys. I don't know what you call it, $1.30 or something. I don't know. I don't know those terms, you guys. I'm super Kenyan. And then... I bought some green maize. These ones we're going to boil for a snack. Because I have for making gideri, I still have some in the freezer. So this will be just for a snack. Although I don't think we'll finish all of them. Anywho, she was selling five of them at 100 shillings. So I bought for 200 shillings. Then we are great lovers of broccoli here. So... These ones were, today they were very expensive because they were selling me a kilo at a hundred shillings. 
and normally I buy a kilo of broccoli at at 70 shillings or something today the prices you guys oh my gosh I really felt but you can imagine if that's how they're costing in my kitty in the at the estate it's just unbelievable so I bought two kilos of broccoli and the tomatoes were like the most expensive thing there normally I get a kilo and look at this I didn't notice this normally I get a kilo at 60 shillings today they were selling at a hundred bob like zero chills like take it or leave it oh my goodness so anyway tomato paste will come in handy but i still bought some so all these i bought for 300 shillings and i felt so bad because normally i buy at for 300 shillings i buy how many kilos would those be five so today i got three kilos that's a whole two kilo difference man anywho Please let me know in the comments below whether you have ever been to Marie Kitty Market. Or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please also let me know. Because, yeah, we are learning and educating each other. Then here, I don't know whether you can see this. I might have to lift it up. Let me bring it closer. I bought peas. All right. Now, I was shelling them. I thought I could finish before I made this video but clearly did finish so I've shelled half of them I bought the whole lot for 500 shillings so this assuming this is half so this cost me like 200 shillings 250 and I have another 250 here so these are great for our stews and everything and yeah we normally we love our peas here yes 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 so far so good for the market uh let me show you what else i got then i also bought these matoke bananas for cooking um these ones were going for the okay these ones were being sold in bunches so i bought two bunches for 100 shillings each so all this cost me 200 shillings and then i bought these Oh, let me see if I can lift this up for you guys to see. These ripe bananas. Oh, they're heavy. Um, normally, I buy enough for 200 shillings. And there, they don't sell for... They, they kind of sell one for 10 bob. So, for 200 shillings would be two, 20 pieces. But then, they also add you like... The guy added me like 7 pieces. So, I bought like 27 pieces for 200. He just says... You know, this is this is a bonus or something. You know that those guys are generous. By the way, every place where you buy something there, they always stop up. They're like so cool. So anyway, yeah. But that does not include the sweet bananas. The sweet bananas I bought on the side. And he sold these to me at 100 shillings. Yeah, he was selling at 100 shillings per bunch. It's been a while since we had sweet bananas. And these ones, by the way, these ones are for the grown-ups. I just told my help. You know what? These, are, these ones are ours. Those kids will just have their own regular bananas because I don't know how they're going to react with these ones. Plus, you know, sometimes it just needs to have something for the grown-ups, you know? So basically, these are for us. And I bought them at 100, Bob, I believe. This whole thing. That's a dollar, people who live elsewhere. Yes, I bought all this for a dollar uh-huh and then i also got these sweet potatoes for 50 shillings a kilo that price never ever ever changes it's been a while since i had a different price and i bought five kilos so these are 250 shillings that's 2.5 dollars and the last thing i bought are potatoes for 650 shillings a whole a whole bucket like this size and the trick with buying potatoes let me tell you if you go there to buy potatoes don't buy the ones that have already been packed in the bucket and if you don't know this i think everyone knows this but just in case you don't know that just pick the size that you want agree on the price and then i'll tell the person who's selling to pour them all out and then you pick one by one filling the bucket because if i had bought the way she had already packed that bucket before most of them had cuts inside there they were not looking so nice but she was because i was there and i was picking what i want she was able to put for me the really nice ones and of course she also added quite like a huge handful of potatoes 
on top of the bucket. The price was a bit high because normally that same bucket I could buy at 600 or 550 but even for 650 shillings I thought it was okay and they're going to take us like a whole month so yeah I think basically that is all I bought at the market because the prices have changed uh, I had budgeted to spend five thousand six hundred shillings again keep in mind that this is for a whole month for seven people because in the middle of the month i'll probably go and buy fruits for like uh a thousand five hundred but for now this should keep us going but i ended up spending um instead of five thousand six hundred i ended up spending six thousand shillings and i didn't even buy what did i not buy i didn't buy green pepper ho -hos because I was running late, you guys. I went there at 10. First of all, don't go to that market late because most of the stuff had already been bought off. So the ones that I was finding were not very good quality. I just decided this month, you know what we can do without the green peppers. But because of going late, I missed, I missed good quality green peppers. And then also because of the price, oh, well, but it's still way cheaper than buying at the estate, you guys. Yes. And one more thing I love about batch cooking, you guys, is that I am able to budget very well for my food budget. Basically because I know everything that I'm going to need at the beginning of the month. And I also know that once I do that major shopping at the beginning of the month and cook all my meals and put them in my freezer, I am basically done with buying food for that whole month. I'll just add up 1,500 in the middle of the month just to buy top up fruits and that's it and maybe buy a few vegetables and all that if i go to the market again two weeks or three weeks from now depending on how the fruits fruits last i'll spend definitely less than two thousand shillings so i know once it's the end of the month and we're doing the budget and you've been paid and all the money is in you're able to actually say this is exactly how much i will need for food for this month and you're actually able to stick to that budget and as you know in this house we are very keen on sticking to the budget because we are following Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps to financial freedom and one of the key things that he says is you need to have a budget so it really helps us batch cooking is so amazing please check out that video if you haven't on batch cooking and also the one on Dave Ramsey's baby steps because it really just it will help you to understand why we are going through all these all these all this all this it will basically explain all this and one more thing i also bought once i finished with my kitty market is i went to city market not to buy beef because we don't buy beef from city market anymore because since we discovered the slaughterhouse we just go to the slaughterhouse i've done a video on that but i'm still looking for a nice place you guys to buy nice chicken legs because i prefer to buy chicken legs so basically by legs i mean the thighs and the drumsticks so after Marie kitty market i went to city market to buy the chicken legs and also i did not like my experience of buying minced meat from from the slaughterhouse so i also bought minced meat from city market if anyone knows where i can get these two things at a cheaper place please hook a sister up i need to save money but I bought four kilos of chicken legs, which are right here. Okay, they're from my fridge, so they're a bit wet, but I bought four. So, and I also bought, I bought one and a half kilos of minced meat. And I had, I had bought actually, like last week, I went to visit a friend of mine from a place called King's Kids Village, where we normally donate our stuff. It's a, it's a nice home for, kids who don't have a place and kids, kids who don't have families yeah am i saying that right yes basically and they have income generating activities like chicken they sell chicken they sell great things so i found they had slaughtered chicken normally i would not buy a whole chicken because i don't know what to do with all of it but the price was too good so i actually bought two chickens and they were selling them at 500 a piece and they're really meaty and i can actually trust that this chicken have been brought up well if you're interested i'll put a link to them because i know this chicken don't have all those things that chicken meat normally has so i bought two of these and that is why i only added four kilos of chicken 
legs from city market so all this will be enough for us for a month definitely oh and i also did not buy beef because we had gone to the slaughterhouse a month ago to buy beef so we cooked half of what we bought last month and then i still have the other half for this month so again if you go to the slaughterhouse please don't buy just for one month because uh, the trips uh, you want to maximize every trip in fact if you can buy for six months that would be really good for you but that's all i got from the market and city market now let me show you what i got from the supermarket three types of markets but yeah so when we went to the supermarket on our way there we found someone who was selling eggs i'm still guys i'm still looking for a place to buy eggs cheaply because these ones we bought at 350 shillings per tray okay ignore the five that were on top these were left over and normally we go through three trays of eggs per month because we use a tray every 10 days or so if we decide to do too much baking well yeah so and i used to buy i used to buy them all at once but then i realized they were starting to go bad so i just we just buy as the trays as they run out basically so i bought a tray at 350 shillings please hook a sister up with cheaper eggs you guys you know how much i love to save money come on now now this is now the real deal from the supermarket all right i have 20 liters of milk you know you buy milk from the atm if you watch that video on 30 things you no longer buy then you should know that we don't buy packet milk we buy milk from the atm so we bought 20 liters because we use normally it's about 15 in a week and then i bought an extra five because we want to make yogurt we, we ran out of yogurt and yes we make our own yogurt if you haven't watched that video you're missing out it's the easiest thing in the whole wide world so not only did i not buy the milk but i bought my bio yogurt for making milk so i'll do this i'll make it just before i sleep for making i bought my yogurt for making yogurt not for making milk gosh yes basically that's it then i bought two cans of tomato paste just to supplement on those really really expensive tomatoes and i have i think i have half a can in my fridge this will be enough for our batch cooking i have all my spices they're still there but i added paprika because this one was running out we love paprika over here we added some honey um and some margarine then we got some tea bags we were running out then we added some spaghetti why i say we added it's not that we were running out but every time we find an offer we like to we like to top up because these offers are not there all the time so i still have some in my extended pantry but since there was an offer i decided to just maximize on the opportunity and the same goes for the witterbix i i love i love i love these deals and i don't like anyone passing me by as you can see it's a limited offer so when i find there's an offer and if my pocket allows at that time i try to stock up because these are these are things that last long they won't go bad so i bought two of these not because we need them necessarily this month but because it was a an offer that i couldn't resist and that's a great way to save money in your kitchen then we bought five loaves of bread we love bread here we make sandwiches our kids love bread i love bread i probably shouldn't <laughs> for my waistline but i do you guys i'm trying to quit oh my gosh one day but i really i really i really love bread you guys and and i i love naivas's whole whole meal bread let me just say of course we all know it's not 100 percent whole meal but oh you guys let me tell you i just i can't eat white bread i can't oh my gosh i just can't i i i once i left white bread i left it and i've never gone back i was delivered <laughs> but you guys who love white bread actually don't hate on me it's still good bread you eat bread bread for life jesus is the bread of life you guys so yeah let's enjoy bread and then uh i bought four kilos of 
beans. Yes, now this will be enough to make bean stew. Uh, this will be enough for us for a whole month, basically. We'll make bean stew, and then I'll also use one kilo to make gideri. We don't eat gideri so much, uh, but we eat it a bit. So yeah, one kilo will be enough. And I think I had a small bit left over last time that's in the freezer. So that's okay. And then we bought rice. Two kilos now this will not be enough for the whole month but i still have another two kilos that i had bought so that with this will be good to go i have a kilo of salt and two kilos of sugar now let's go to the oh let me say something again i forgot to mention this um, if you watched my video again on 30 things we no longer buy, I said we don't buy packaged flowers like the uji and the wheat flour and all that. But normally we'd get them from the countryside. My mom has it milled for us. But then the lockdown happened again. So we'll just have to buy for now, you guys. So yeah, that's why we have this. Normally we'll just get from 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 there from mom 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 is the best i love my mother so much but so coming to the wheat i bought two kilos of self-raising these are great for pancakes we love pancakes over here i've made a video of how, the best pancakes in the world please check it out it's really nice and now because we can't meal our own wheat flour because i really like that one because it's really whole grain and everything I have to make my own whole grain. Now, here's the thing. If you buy just this whole grain, the Ata Mark 1, it's really hard to make chapos with. That's what I have found personally. It's really, I just, it's, I don't know. It's, I don't like it. It doesn't make the best chapos if you ask me. On its own. So what I do is I mix the Ata one with, the 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 white wheat i hope that's it that's what it's called yeah the all-purpose one and i mix uh not one to one because when i mix one to one it's still a bit hard to work with so i mix one of these one and a half of white to one of brown i really hope that makes sense you guys yeah, but then you also use it for baking. First of all, we are really looking forward to baking a yummy chocolate cake because one of our kids is about to have a nice milestone. He's graduating. Ah. Yes, we are homeschoolers, but we still celebrate graduation. If you haven't watched about our homeschooling video, please do. You'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm really looking forward to having something fancy for him. And he requested, of course, uh, usually yummy moist delicious chocolate cake it's so easy to make use only 10 ingredients and it's like ha ah. yes i've made a video on that if you're interested in baking and then i bought three kilos of red lentils we love this and three kilos of dengu also known as green grams guys i tried buying these cereals these ones from the market i tried buying in gikomba but they were not good quality they were they were you know these ones these ones have been picked and all the bad most of the bad ones have been removed the other ones oh my gosh it took me so long to go through them that I dis decided that I might as well just buy from the supermarket and save myself the time. But if you know where I can find good clean ones, please let me know at a cheaper price because I know for sure. I know for sure, for sure, for sure. The supermarket is not the cheapest place to buy these things. But if you know where I can buy good ones at a cheaper price, hook a sister up, help us. We need help. Yes, so that was it. Now, because it's the beginning of the month and we're getting ready to batch cook, this is not usually what I would buy. You know, someone, someone uh, wrote a comment in one of my videos and she was like, so now when you go to the supermarket, what do you buy? You must buy very few things. Well, yes and no. At the beginning of the month, we buy like all these. 
but from now on until the month is over oh you should see that oh you go to the supermarket and just come out with bread and milk and it feels so good so yes i really i really enjoyed the batch cooking because you save so much money you save time uh and and life is easy now let me show you the 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 funniest part of it is what we bought for cleaning at the supermarket yeah you will just laugh you wouldn't believe what we bought come here let me show you so you guys as far as cleaning products go and the supermarket goes this is all we bought for the whole month this and this is not even technically a cleaning product because this is white vinegar you know we love white vinegar i talked about it in that video on how to make an easy kitchen spray this is really it comes in so handy and we decided it's easier and cheaper to buy the five liter one than to buy the one liter one so yes for cleaning this is what i bought from the supermarket i bought this and i bought this for washing dishes I, I love the offer again as i said and then i bought bar soap that's it because you know we love to make our own cleaning products we make our own uh liquid detergent that we use for hand washing clothes we make our own hand wash we make our own bleach we make our own but just check out the video on the 30 things you no longer buy you'll get what i mean so basically that's it oh, i love this i love I mean, just this for cleaning i mean seriously how easy and how much cheaper could life get so yes i love i love that now this is all we buy from the supermarket for cleaning and it's a good good thing we are enjoying all the savings so basically that's our food shopping for the whole of the month we spent about 9600 shillings at the supermarket and about let's call it 9000 shillings if you add the market the marikiti market the groceries i mean the the vegetables and the fruits and also the meats the chicken legs and the eggs and the minced meat oh i also forgot to add that we bought half a kilo of liver which you've already had <laughs> so it's not yet to be seen but yes we ate it so okay if you add up all that it was coming to around nine thousand shillings again so in total we spent about eighteen thousand let's say nineteen thousand shillings for a whole month's worth of food for seven people for a month so if you do the math i need to do the math well how can i do the math <laughs> so if you do the math let me see i use nineteen thousand shillings and that's enough food for 31 days so per day our whole family will be eating food worth around 612 shillings the whole family and that's a family of seven so if you divide the 612 shillings let's see let's see let's see uh let me see so if you divide 612 divided by seven human beings so i am feeding each member of my family um okay the food each member of my family will be having will be 87 shillings so for 87 87 shillings Allah 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 so for 87 shillings i am feeding each member of my family three square meals plus two snacks so yes 87 shillings is less than a dollar for a whole human beings uh food for a day and for me i think this is this is this is quite something and for those people who don't live here so we are basically feeding a whole family of seven people um for six dollars per day for three square meals and two snacks so yeah we feed our whole family six dollars we spend six dollars a day to feed our entire family 
and for a month i bought enough groceries for 190 dollars yes 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 i got it you guys math is not my strength so this is what i am trying to say all right for 190 dollars i was able to feed my family of seven for a month yes you guys i think y'all should just clap for me come on now come on now yeah 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 thank you thank you thank you for the applause i hope you found this video helpful and this is not the cheapest it can go you guys it can go even cheaper it can go way way cheaper and i am always looking for hacks to make it go way way cheaper please let me know if you know a place i can buy these things at an even cheaper price i am willing to learn but thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you on the next one keep saving money and keep shining bye